Morning. 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 <laughs> Official good morning. So we are heading to McDonald's to get some coffee and breakfast sandwiches. Then we're packing up. Then Bougie's trying to get his package from the mail. They don't open until nine, but he has it figured out that some special person is gonna be there at 8.15 trying to get him his package. Yep. That's how special Bougie is. Yep. And then if the package is not there, then we are gonna speed race to the grocery store and get all the groceries that he needs. And then, and then, we are going to try to hitch. We're going to throw a thumb out and try to hitch. To two different towns. First, from here to Independence, and then from Independence to the trailhead. And today, it's mostly Blue Blaze Day, meaning we have to hike the entire nine miles that we hiked two days ago to the trailhead. We're going to have to hike it back to maintain our continuous footpath. So today, you're going to see a lot of Blue Blaze um, views. You might see one mile of the PCT. But it's still gonna be fun because we're still hiking. And honestly, that uh, trail had some really beautiful views. Yes, it did. Yeah, some really beautiful yes, views. It did. Let's get that coffee. Got a coffee, two, sa two sausage, egg and cheese, McMuffins, and one hash brown. This man had to plunge for the very first time <laughs> in his life. Welcome to the club. Of Welcome to plunging for the Welcome first time. <laughs> All right, ready to get Bougie's box from the post Bougie. office. Okay, so his package not here. He's got package problems lately. It says Los Angeles in the center at 7.17 a.m. this morning. Yeah, it'll be here tonight. Yeah. So we're gonna go shopping in just a second. She's double checking the tracking number, but we need to obviously either forward this package or something, right? Yeah, back of line. Apparently his package is in the black hole of California. I'm not gonna say where, but it is. So we are returning to sendering it. And then now we're gonna to go to the grocery store where he is gonna just get his food. We literally speed chopped. And now we think we might be able to still cover the, catch the bus. I'm weird, this is what I hear. All right, so we are independence now and I didn't really explain it. So. Today, this morning, we had said, okay, either we're gonna catch the bus or we're gonna hitch. We were able to catch the first set, which is the bus to, from uh, Lone Pine to Independence. And now we're gonna try to get a hitch from Independence to the trailhead. Well, that's pretty. Yeah, we gotta go back the other way. Yeah, that guy was pretty We gotta go back the other way and then hang a right on that main road. And then we can hitch from there. That's pretty. We kind of found a hitch. <laughs> I'm not sure this is somehow gonna work out. Oh, yeah, we're good. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Can I sit on you? There you go. Oh, that's your so there's like eight backpacks, eight people. We're sitting kind of on top of each other. <laughs> and if there was a sharp curve, I'll be dead. So let's hope. Hang <laughs> on. We have arrived. 
We have arrived. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> they did the same thing. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Like These cool guys gave us a ride. They're going on a weekend hike, I think. Thank you Pretty so cool. much. We are back. We're going. So excited to get back to trail. Not excited about this blue blaze, but I'm gonna try to be like, I'm really excited about this blue blaze. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna enjoy the switchbacks. And I'm gonna enjoy the Kearsarge Pass. Once I'm up there, I'm going to enjoy the downhill, actually. Definitely. It'll be uh, snow slatting. Also, I have like four days worth of food, but I think it's like seven days because I really wanted to eat. And I'm fine. I'm fine carrying all that weight. I'm super cool with that. So this bullfrog trail up over Kearsarge is really quite beautiful. <laughs> I didn't get to enjoy it as much on my way down because I was over it. But it's really nice. It is quite a long uphill, but it's so interesting how you have to hike nine-ish miles. I have no idea how many miles it is. You know, on far out it says like seven, but I, I definitely think it's longer than that, but to hike nine miles back to the PCT, when you're an AT hiker, you just think that is the most ridiculous thing ever. But if you want to be in the wilderness, I guess, that's what you have to do. So there's the path. We'll go wee, doo -doo -doo -doo. right there. Oh yeah, almost there. Like 0.6 or 0.7. Made it. Here's Arch Pass, 11.760 feet. Boom shakalaka. Just sitting here, uh, I kind of hiked by myself because the group stopped, stopped at the beginning talking to some hikers who came down that they knew. And um, I was like, oh, I'm right. I don't know these people, so I'm gonna just keep hiking. I was gonna wait for them up here on top of the pass, but I don't see them at all, which is totally cool, because uh, we only have like the blue blaze really today, and then getting to the bottom of Paiute. I don't know, I'll have to think. Hold on, let me, let me look. Correction, to the bottom of Glen Pass. So it's kind of a short day, which means you can really take your time, but um, I didn't think I was gonna get on top of the mountain this fast. I remember this downhill to be way harder than this uphill. I mean, this last section with the snow was pretty tough, but the uphill, like the back was way easier than down, but that's probably because we did Forester the same day. I think I'm gonna go down just because I don't have any water. Like I was maybe even gonna stop here and eat, but um, I don't really have much water because I didn't want to take a lot of water because I know there's a lot of water coming up and uh, on an uphill, that is just a lot of weight, especially because I'm full on with weight. So I guess I'm gonna head down. I guess I've been here long enough to see them. Look at them, right there. Three little figures trying to make it up here.
this trail right here is one big river crossing. Wow, so much melt. Big difference from two days ago. Look at all this snow melt. This is not a lake. This is literally just snow melt. Wow. I feel like this looked a lot different even just two days ago. It's amazing how snow disappears over just two days. All right, back on the PCT or the John Muir Trail. So cool. That was easier than I thought it would be. Was it easy? No, but it was easier. Ah, not bad. It's 2.56 and I made it to the campsite that I think we're going to stay at. There's another one that uh, we can go to that's a little bit higher, closer to Glen Pass. Um, but I'm staying here now and I'm drying my socks because they are so wet. And then I'm going to eat. I brought, I packed out a salad I'm very happy about, as well as an avocado. I decided that I was going to bring a good amount of food. Um, we are going to be out here for four and a half days before next resupply and I think I have like a lot of food which is really good because I'm always very hungry and I just feel like I need to feel like I have enough food and I don't mind carrying it especially now that the water carry is a lot less so I think I'm about an hour ahead of the crew so I'm gonna enjoy my meal and the view and uh, just ponder more about life. Packing out a salad, great choice. Not my favorite salad, which is the avocado ranch. I like the kale one, um, but I like that I had a salad. It's really cool, very nice. Look at him. He's videoing and everything. So they've all arrived and we're setting up camp. And we have 2.2 miles to Glen Pass tomorrow morning. <clears throat> which should be easy. And then the downhill is supposed to be a little bit rougher. So as long as we get down before 8.30, which is what people said, that's when the so snow gets soft. Really? Yeah. The commons were like snow got soft at 8.30. Nice. So I haven't even looked. 